What is going on everyone? Today we're diving a bit deeper into guild conflicts in Ashes of Creation, talking about how exactly the guild war system takes place, what you need to do when it comes to preparing for an attack, and much more. Two guilds in an MMO with a rivalry isn't unheard of in the genre, and lots of games make it so the guilds need to take it among themselves to resolve these conflicts. But in Ashes of Creation, that's not always the case. Although still in the design stage, Guild Wars in Ashes of Creation will be an objective-based gameplay with great risk for each side participating. And by objectives, I mean certain tasks spawning in the world based on the level of the guilds at war with one another. Some of these objectives will be sending you into an enemy guild guild hall or fortress to capture a certain quest item in or around the hall, only visible to that warring guild. Whilst a channeling time is added to the item so it requires your guildmates to defend you from enemy players while this channel is going on. This item you are trying to steal could even be a quest item that another guild has acquired from a raid boss, having you set out to potentially sabotage their progress by stealing this item sending them back to the raid to try and grab it again. There is also the possibility of having bounty objectives that set you out to kill a particular guild member, which would give the target increased damage mitigation and health as you seek out to hunt them down. While doing this or any other Guild War event, the death penalty surrounding the PvP corruption system will not apply like with caravans and sieges. If you are engaging in a war though, don't worry as the opponent won't just instantly decide they want to fight you and begin attacking. Like sieges, there will be a war declaration period giving guilds time to plan. In this period, you and your guild members will want to grab any items needed, whether that be potions or food or making sure your armor is repaired and ready for combat. Guild Wars will most likely take place during server prime time, which is said to be somewhere between 3pm and 9pm. But this is subject to change via testing and honestly I hope it does as I tend to work nights and would rather not have to join a different server from my current time zone just for that. But who knows, maybe I'll just hide in the upstairs closet at work while fighting off these enemy guilds. And lastly, although unknown if it would fall under the actual Guild Wars setting, would be Castle Sieges. I assume it would as Castle Sieges are meant to be Guild versus Guild as 500 players fight over control of a castle by taking on objectives as they go, which you can learn a lot more about in this video over here. Guild Wars will fall within the PvP seasons which last about 6 months. At the end of the season, your guild's effectiveness will be measured based on the last 6 months, allowing certain rewards to be unlocked. Although this system sounds great, I'm hoping this system allows for a bit of less structured fights as well though, as some of the best moments in MMORPGs come unplanned as a guild spur of the moment decides they want to set out and take on an enemy, whether it's going after caravans or just ganking other guild members. Although ganking other guild members would just get you flagged as corrupted, making it a bit more risky to do. But I can see guilds seeking out to sabotage world first kills and things like that, as 80% of the dungeons are going to be open world allowing players to fight it out with each other when headed their way to a boss. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video on Guild Wars, keep in mind that all of this is subject to change as Ashes of Creation is still in the alpha phases of development. But let me know in the comments if you would defend your guild in a war or you'd rather stick it out being a lone wolf in the world of Vera. And if you have yet to sign up for an Ashes of Creation account on the website, Site, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.